Bungalow Bill here. I showed up this craft recently ramming a Mobula, but I've made some improvements to it, and let's try something a little bit different. This time I'll bring in a Retribution, it comes with two Hakes, and let's give it a quick shot. The APN Guidance works much better, so we're going to lead our target on the way in this time. The, the Retribution is now gone, let's chase the Hakes. Unfortunately, the cakes are quite fast, and we're starting on a tail chase, so it'll take us a little bit. For the first one, at least. Alright, that hake is down. And we got the next one. Actually, I thought I'd tag in a small addendum, because I just did this test, and I really enjoyed watching it. Here we're attempting to take down an Enigma Swarm. It usually works pretty well until some of them launch themselves into space. Uh, that's when we start having difficulties. In this case, we launched ourselves into space. The wisdom of having a positive altitude adjustment is coming a little bit into question here. However, you can see even a small target like this doesn't quite escape our attention. There's still a lot of tuning to be done as far as all of the constants in this breadboard, but the actual functionality of it is working pretty well now. Again, until the enemy vehicles get into space. We still get them, though. We do not have very much control at this altitude. But we still do have some maneuverability. And we don't get... We don't get into trouble when they go directly above us. The in-game missiles cannot function at all at that sort of angle. And there we have it, an Enigma Swarm murdered by a kinetic ramming vehicle. I hope you enjoyed watching, and goodbye.